On today's episode of P-Dubs Arcade Loft, we're going to be taking a look at the At Games Legends Ultimate version 1.1 cabinet recently released by At Games. Is it better than the 1.0? Okay guys, it's important to note that At Games did send this cabinet to me for unboxing and review. Uh, however, I am not being compensated for this review in any way. All thoughts and opinions are mine and mine alone, and At Games is not going to review this review prior to it being posted. Taking a look at the assembly, as you can see here, as we're making our way through these shots and these steps, unlike the previous edition of the At Games Legends Ultimate, the 1.0, the 1.1 does include a system of cam bolts, for assembly. The 1.1 did not have boards uh, bracing the base of the cabinet. It literally just had a couple of connectors around the sides to kind of hold all the panels together. And if you ask me, looking at the version 1.1, I think this is a big improvement in regards to stability. The center of gravity has been lowered to the base of the cabinet. The cabinet is no longer so top heavy. And with these horizontal boards, uh, running side by side, it is definitely providing more stability and strength in case you did have to move this cabinet around. Obviously, once you get the frame and the sides screwed together, you just slide in your front board and your back board and boom, you are done. And this thing is rock solid. I mean, this thing is nowhere near as wiggly as the 1.0 cabinet. This thing is definitely a engineering improvement by At Games on how they designed this particular part of the cabinet. I mean, I am shaking this thing vigorously and it's not going to fall to pieces. I want to dare do that on the 1.0 cabinet. Once she's fully assembled, it definitely looks a lot like the 1.1 minus some different cosmetic changes. Um, such as we do have our USB and HDMI ports here now under the base of the monitor under the base of the bezel instead of connected to the control deck one nice improvement is we only have three wires to plug in instead of five or six unlike the 1.0 cabinet although this cabinet does take longer due to the cam bolts to assemble once you get it assembled I mean it just takes seconds to put the control deck in as well as to swap the control decks in and out because that's right guys this at games legends ultimate 1.1 control deck can be swapped out for the legends gamer pro now taking a look at the side panels here's where i feel that when it comes to the side art at games had a great idea but unfortunately i feel this was poorly executed when it comes to offering swappable artwork to the masses on the side panels there's different screw holes uh, where you have to put your artwork and then of course that's where your pinball kit uh, your side pinball buttons are going to be mounted and of course when you lay it out i mean the the vinyl artwork here i mean it's just a thin piece of i don't know kind of plasticky coated material what i do like about it is that this is definitely a material that would be resistant to scratching in case you bump into it or bang something into it i've had plenty of cabinets where you bump into it and you tear or gouge the artwork this does feel like that's going to be less of an issue with this kind of artwork. Uh, it's more or less kind of like a plasticky poster versus vinyl. Um, and At Games did this so folks could easily swap out their artwork. You simply put your artwork on and you screw it in. And there's certain steps to follow to get the artwork screwed in correctly. Um, however, although I kind of like the feel of it when you touch it, when it comes to getting everything put in, Take a screenshot of this, guys. This is the appropriate way, uh, if you follow the numbers, of getting the artwork um, lined up. And as you can see here, we do have these screwed in. One big fail on my end is they use these silver clear screws, which really just stick out, and they don't blend into the artwork. And even following the steps, as you can see here, taking a look here, I mean, we definitely have either a bad cut on this particular uh, piece of artwork, but this was on both sides, guys. And even when you follow those steps on how to get these screwed in correctly, it's still bubbly. There's still too much air. It's not a firm fit. In my opinion, guys, that was a, you know, a, a, a good idea, but poorly executed by At Games. I would not support that. Um, moving forward, I would prefer just to have artwork permanently attached to the side of the cabinet. Now right here I have my Legends Gamer Pro. Now the goal of course is you're supposed to have swappable 
control decks, but just a heads up guys, you do have to remove the pinball buttons from the Gamer Pro in order to get it in there and then reinstall the buttons. I love that they are doing swappable control decks. You can get your Gamer Pro in there with the eight buttons for fighting games. But guys, you do have to remove the side pin side pinball buttons from the 1.1, then unscrew the side pinball buttons from the Gamer, and then mount your mount and plug in your Gamer, and then screw your buttons back in. I honestly wish they had cut divots into the side panels here where the pinball buttons wouldn't need to be removed, and you could just drop them in. That would have been better. The marquee on the 1.1 cabinet has been improved versus the 1.0 cabinet which had kind of a sparkly Legends Ultimate logo. They've taken the sparkles off and if you ask me less is more, this marquee just has the logo Legends Ultimate. It's lit up perfect, The sh no shadows, nothing. This, this looks really, really good. Nicely job at games, much better marquee. As we take a look at the 1.1 control deck, you'll notice that it is almost exactly identical to the 1.0 control deck, minus some cosmetic differences to the player 1, player 2, start, rewind, and menu buttons. Those have kind of been changed. You still have your six buttons, your ABC, your XYZ, and you still have this really good Sanwa clone joystick. This joystick is definitely better than joysticks that come with arcade 1-ups, and this optical spinner is definitely a great free spinning spinner. Then of course we have the trackball. Now the trackball does feel and look identical to the 1.0 cabinet. However, At Games has confirmed they did add some additional harnessing inside of there uh, in order to make it a better and more durable trackball. I really like that the USB and HDMI ports as well as the volume controls are now on the bar underneath the monitor. This definitely cleans up the control deck. The control deck was cluttered enough as it is but having this stuff uh, off the control deck and on this silver bar is an improvement in my opinion. And don't forget here, this does mimic the Gamer Pro. If for some reason you put your Gamer Pro in, you can take this Legends Ultimate control deck and you can use that uh, as a control deck for other devices such as your PC, which is a nice little touch as well. Another perk of the 1.1 cabinet is you do have the pinball buttons. These do come included with the Sam's Club edition. They're not included with the Walmart edition. So my suggestion is if you're going to buy a 1.1, get the Sam's Club's edition with the pinball buttons on the side. They have a little bit of a spongy feel to them, but they do the job and we'll show you some footage here shortly. They did change out the uh, some of the games on the black kick plate these uh, to match some of the different games included, the Taito games in this bundle. I'm not a big fan of black kick plates, kick plates with games listed on them. I'd rather have artwork myself personally, but overall, cabinet looks pretty good. Now when we look at games, the 1.1 cabinet does come with 300 games built in, as well as all the same features and functionalities as your Legends Gamer and your Legends Ultimate, except for maybe a couple of tweaks like you can't do portrait mode on the arcade cabinets, but you can't do it on the gamer arcade sticks. But if you've been following my channel or if you're new, subscribe, check out the At Games playlist. We've covered all of these things over the last 12 months, over 70 videos on the At Games ecosystem. If you're a fan of the At Games ecosystem, you're going to be happy with this particular product as well as all of the games included. There are a ton a ton of games, plus one of the highlights of course is At Games gives you the ability to bring your own game via so many different methods. You can use a USB drive for your add-on games or for your coin ops games and then of course you have uh, the ability to stream your PC to the cabinet and all that stuff. What they've done here with the 300 games is they've gotten rid of a lot of the Atari clutter and a lot of the ColecoVision clutter. Instead, we have arcade games, some Genesis, some Nintendo console games, and of course, the addition of 47 Taito games with the new At Games partnership with Taito. As you can see here, Coleco is gone, and a lot of the Atari clutter has been removed as well. And of course, we have 47 awesome Taito games. These games are so much fun, and of course, uh, you'll enjoy playing these on the Legends Ultimate. The game selection has definitely been improved, What's cool is if you do have a 1.0 cabinet, there's giving all owners the Taito games as well. All 47 titles will be downloaded to those user systems. So it's a win-win whether or not you have a 1.0 or a 1.1 cabinet. And of course we have our leaderboard games and all kinds of other fun things with this. 
Now we're going to put together a separate pinball video showcase showing you the differences in pinball play on the Legends Ultimate 1.1 as well as the Legends Gamer. So keep your eyes out for that video. But having pinball buttons on the side is pretty cool! Uh, right here we're playing Pinball Add-on X, we're playing Leprechaun King, one of the free tables you can play off the At Games ecosystem. And of course when you stream pinball, streaming I would recommend you gotta have a hardwire connection in order to have the best possible experience. It's definitely not going to be a perfect experience, but it's just one more way At Games is giving you the ability to play more games on their platform is by having some pinball tables available to stream directly to your cabinets or to your Legends Gamer. And as you can see here, we're pulling at the pinball buttons. They work, they do the job, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, and right here, I, I'm gonna nudge it until I tilt it. As you can see, you got the nudge and you got the flipper buttons on the side. Pretty, pretty cool. Nice addition by At Games. Again, the, bu the buttons on the side are a little bit spongy compared to the buttons on the control decks, but they do the job and I'm happy with them. So what can we say about the Legends 1.1 cabinet? It is impossible to review every single feature and functionality of an At Games product. I mean, hell, we're still making videos on the 1.0 cabinet, even after all this time, because At Games continues to provide their users more and more options, more and more ways to play games in so many different ways, whether it's connecting a PC, a Raspberry Pi, a computer, an Odroid, uh, whether it's uh, Bluetooth connecting or streaming these devices to the cabinet to play your own games, playing games off USB sticks, as well as having the arcade net, having licensed games available to stream to your cabinet, anywhere from 300 to 350 games or more included on the devices themselves. And there's a lot of good ones, your Burger Times, your Centipedes, your Missile Commands, some very popular arcade titles of all time. There are plenty of hidden gems built in to the Legends Ultimate, as well as plenty of fluff as well. But there are some good games, and I think most users do enjoy the fact that, hey, I might be able to get my name on a leaderboard. Look at P-Dubs, number four right here. And the leaderboard competitions are fun and exciting and a great part of the At Games ecosystem as well. And leaderboards are going to be expanded to include Farsight Studios, Partnership, with their pinball arcade, with their Brunswick bowling, as well as their uh, PBA, I'm sorry, their PBA bowling, as well as their Brunswick billiards and their pinball arcade software. I dare say that, you know, overall, uh, due to the fact that you can swap control decks, however, not as easily as you think, due to the fact you have to remove your pinball buttons and then put them back on, which is kind of a time consuming process. The, the, as well as with the swappable artwork, I think we have two kind of misses there by At Games. I'm going to have to give this cabinet an 8 out of 10, only because I'm really not happy with the artwork package, um, as well as I'm not happy with... I love being able to swap control decks. I just don't like the fact that I have to take pinball buttons off, put them back on. I wish there was a better workaround for this. I wish those side panels were cut to fit the pinball buttons. That way you didn't have to remove them at all from the Legends uh, 1.1 control deck or from the Legends Gamer control deck. Really don't like having to unscrew and screw those back in constantly, especially if you plan on swapping control decks on a frequent basis. Overall though, if you have a 1.0 cabinet, do you need to buy a 1.1 cabinet? Absolutely not. These cabinets are future-proof with the firmware updates, so no worries there guys. Um, but if you don't have a Legends Ultimate yet and are considering purchasing the 1.1, feel free to do so. I would recommend this cabinet. Kudos to you. And of course, I think you'll enjoy becoming a part of our competitive and fun gaming community. As always, guys, give us a thumbs up on your way out. If you appreciated the review, if you enjoyed the content, thanks as always for tuning in and hanging out upstairs with P-Dubs Arcade Loft. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Make sure you subscribe. Talk to you soon.